As we all know that YAC 2025 Physics Practicals Alternative B is out. Now in this video, I'm going to show you the apparatus that I have to provide and the most likely question that might come based on the instrument we are asked to provide. So if you are new in this channel, don't forget to subscribe to this channel because they have a lot to gain. So let's get right into the instructions. Now, from question one, we are asked to provide the following apparatus. Number one is G-clamp. Number two is missile rule, followed by speeder spring. Number four is a retort stand with clamp. Number five, they are masses. You have the range of masses. You have 150 gram, 200 gram, 300 gram, and 350 grams, okay? Number six, we have silver tape, and number seven, we have stopwatch. Now, for what they asked to provide for this particular question, so I was able to come up with this most likely question that can come, okay? Now, since the masses are varied, since we have different values of masses, they're going to label M, or we're going to be exchanging, okay? Now, this scenario is going to be like you clamping um, a G clamp. This is a meter rule, so let me label it. Let me label this what? This is a meter rule okay now clamping this metal rule probably let me say at 10 cm on this side okay now clamping this other one that is the mass it can, it can be kept at 90 cm or any distance you have to keep it on the metal rule okay now what i'm going to do next is that we're going to displace this mass a little to bend it this way okay to have a vertical oscillation it's going to be oscillating this way to and fro okay so with the help of the stopwatch, you are going to use it to check the time taken for it to complete 20 oscillations, okay? Now, you are going to record this time. So, your sketch or, let me say, your observation table is going to be like having this, having this, having this, and having this. This can be what? This is the mass, okay? That we are going to vary. Let me assume that we started with what? 150 gram. 150.00 okay now this is going to be my time that is t1 when we ask to repeat it is fine so you can go to have t2 they are all measured in seconds okay so just note the time do you understand when we ask to find period or total t and when we ask to find what period okay and then period square this square, this second square, this seconds, this seconds. Do you understand? So in this type of scenario, we'll be likely going to plot a graph of t square against what m. Do you understand? So you must take note of that. We're going to perform this task or this experiment to show you how we are going to do it and also show you how we are going to plot the graph. So let's move to question two. We are asked to provide the following apparatus for question two. We have the plane mirror, an equilateral prism. Four obstacle pins, some pins, drawing board, and drawing paper. So, we are to use all these apparatus provided. We are going to look at a diagram like this, okay? It can still come in another way, but this is what I have in mind. I'm going to practice with you people, okay? So, this is like this is a, this is a plane mirror, this is a glass prism, okay? So, we are going to perform this task the way it is. I'm going to show you how you're going to perform this task in case you see it in your exam. And I'm only going to show you how to manipulate it. That's the simplest way to manipulate it and still get your scores. Do you understand? So, now how you're going to get your angle of incidence, your emergent, and to extend your angle of incidence and emergent to get your what? To get your theta. Exactly. All right. So, this is what you're going to perform. So, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and wait for the video that's going to be dropping. Let's go to question three. Question three, we are asked to provide the following apparatus. We have two cells, 1.5 volt each, a potentiometer, a rheostat, a voltmeter ranging from 0 to 2 volts, an ammeter ranging from 0 to 1 amperes, two resistors labeled R1 and R2. So one is 1 ohm, while the other one is what, 2 ohms. Okay, so we have a key and the connecting wires. I was able to come up with this diagram that it might likely going to be what you're going to see in your exam, okay? So I have the cell, this is the cell. Okay, now I have the um, ammeter, I have the voltmeter, I have the potentiometer. This potentiometer from this point to this point, okay? That's potentiometer, okay? I have jockey. Jockey is used for tapping, tapping on the length of the potentiometer so you can dictate the ammeter reading and the voltmeter reading. Now we have the two 
standard resistors were as label R1 and R2, and we have the key. Remember, once this key is closed, current is going to flow. Okay, so I'm going to perform all these tasks I have listed here based on the apparatus we are asked to provide. So if you are joining us for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on notification because you have a lot to gain. I will see you next time in the next one. Bye for now.